All right, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this text, this uh, pixel text fade animation, sort of like pixelated, but in 3D text. So if you want to know how to do this, just keep watching this video. All right, so we open up Blender. Right, let's create a new project scene. As usual, we delete everything. Let's go ahead and add a text. Let's look at it from top view. Let's change some of the properties of the text. Let's make it align at the center. Okay. So because our text is, uh, text is 3D, let's go ahead and let's use the basic extrude in the geometry tab of the text. All right. Something this thick. Go ahead and edit the text to say whatever you want. Just going to put Enter 3D. Enter 3D. Alright. Change the font if you wish. If you're using this for a sort of logo animation, you can change the font to whatever it is you want. Okay. Let me pick something I like. Okay, I'll pick impact gold. All right, let's change the line size, the line spacing. Okay, let's put a plane in the scene. Move it down some. Okay, now let's get down to the real magic. All right, so let's head over to the shading tab. Apologies, allow that load up. Let's look at it from top view. And we might as well add a camera while we're at it. So let's add a camera. Basic camera. And let's go into the camera view. The camera is currently. Okay, let's position it to where we want our text. Go back into solid view to get this position well. So I use the square uh, resolution for this tutorial, like for the video in this tutorial. So use any resolution you wish. I'm using the 1080 by 1080. Let's change this text spacing a bit. Okay. All right. Let's go to the real font. Let's add a material for the plane. Let's make this any color or make it black. Let's go over to material preview mode. And let's head here. Select the text and hit new. Let's select the principal BSDF and hit control T. And ensure you have the node wrangler add-on enabled. Go to edit preferences, add-ons and look for it and activate it alright. So Let's hit, let's select the image texture and hit shift S and change this texture to a Voronoi texture. All right. Let's select these three and move them out. I'm going to add uh, a math node. So let's hit shift A and hit S to search and type in math. All right. Okay. We are getting somewhere. Let's look for less than. Okay. This is well and good. Let's change the randomness to zero. So everything is uniform. And let's increase the scale. Let's change this to 2D. And let's change this to Manhattan. Uh, let's play with the threshold and make sure you clamp the values okay okay now it's going to look strange so one thing that we need to do is change because currently it's using the UV coordinates on the texture coordinate mode. so we just plug in generated instead 
and you can see it if we increase the scale or oh, let's play with the threshold okay you can see we already have what we want but the problem is that if I hide this plane you can see that it's changing between black and white that is because this is plugged into the base color right so if you want the text to disappear and appear we are going to take that uh, and plug it into the alpha all right now we are going to have the same black and white so the next thing we want to do since we are using uh, EV instead of cycles we we'll go into the settings of the material tab and change the blend mode to alpha hashed all right and you can see it's transparent now okay so this threshold is what we are going to be animating to get that uh pixel effect all right so you can change the scale so i have more sort of pixels let's just go with something even 20 all right okay so it's the basic animation so let's unhide our plane select the text and quickly run this all right so from the first frame let's put the threshold at zero and hit i right that's to insert a keyframe where this is invisible let's move uh 10 frames ahead and put this at point two and hit i let's move five frames ahead put this at frame put this at the value zero and hit i again all right i think you get the idea let's move 10 frames forward you can do this in a random motion since the pixelated effect is random so let's put this at 0 0.4 and hit i move five frames forward and let's just put this at zero okay hit i and let's move about 20 or 30 frames forward and just put this at one all right so it takes a longer time let's go back and hit play that shift in the back arrow key to go back to the first frame and hit play apologies i think i made a mistake somewhere okay i forgot to hit i the last at the last frame so let's try to find where that frame is okay so from here i said 20 frames forward so about here and we put one and hit i don't forget to hit i every time to impute the keyframe okay everything works beautifully all right so we can play around with uh, the color for the emission you can make yours a nice pink well play around with the colors you want to get the uh, glowing effect you just add emission let's increase this and let's just play with the strength let's go over to this and let's put blue ambient occlusion uh, screen space reflections the basics all right so that is basically it let's watch our animation one more time all right everything looks okay all right then we change let's head over to the uh animation stopped at frame 45 so i'll just end it at frame 55 to give extra time so let's change this end frame to 55 and that is it we hit render and we have a beautiful animation all right so if you like this video drop a like uh, if you have anything to say or any contribution whatsoever uh, future tutorials do well to leave a comment in the comment section below and um, if you wish to support this channel which i which i hope you do 
please consider subscribing just hit the subscribe button that uh, red one down there and hit the notification bell that pops up when you hit the subscribe to get notified every time i release a new video watch it one more time looks beautiful thanks for watching guys